Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new DIY video. Okay, so I have been seeing this trend go viral for like really the past year and a half. I think I'm starting to see a lot more brands and companies do it now, but it is popping up everywhere and I've been wanting to try it, but I just really haven't had the space and I really wanted to transform a part of my living room that was kind of irking me, which is the fireplace, the TV area. There's just so much white going on. I really wanted to add a little color. So I think this is gonna be the perfect opportunity to finally do this viral painted archway kind of moment that you're seeing everywhere. It's not rocket science and literally anyone can do it. So let's go take a look at the space and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing today. Okay, so this is my fireplace area. Monty's here with me. She's <laughs> she's just playing around right now. But yeah, there's just a lot of white going on. I have some bookshelves here that I have with books and I like a little like pop-up bar cart and I have this really cute wicker mirror but yeah I just wanted something fresh so I had this idea of doing the arch all the way around so the TV is like in the arch but also I was thinking of painting the fireplace I think painting a fireplace is a super easy way to just add a lot of color and honestly if you don't like it you can just paint it another color and I couldn't be more excited to be partnering up with my friends over at Benjamin Moore I've been using their paint for years they are truly the color authority in the business they have the best paints super high quality they don't splatter they go on smoothly and you don't even need multiple multiple coats usually when I'm painting sometimes if I'm not using Benjamin Moore, I have to do three to five coats sometimes, and that is not the case with Benjamin Moore. They are incredible. Their colors are so rich and so beautiful. I've selected two. I actually put a poll over on Instagram. Uh, you guys weren't very helpful, but I think I've narrowed it down. I ended up buying both of them. But yes, they have been amazing. They have over 3,500 colors that are unmatchable, and I'm super excited to be working with them. And it's great because over at BenjaminMoore.com, you can see all the paints and all their glory. You can order online. You can order samples. You can look at the sheens. You can look at all the colors, see them in a room. But yeah, they are amazing, so definitely go check them out. But right now, I'm gonna show you the paints that I'm in between. Okay, so these are the two colors I ordered online. I just picked them up. I also picked up gallons as well, but I wanted to have the quartz just in case. I also picked up a bunch of these brushes that the gentleman at the store suggested. I got some rollers, I got these little kits, so I am set up. Thanks to Benjamin Moore. Okay, so these are the colors. First color is Boston Brick. I loved the name. The color just popped out at me online and I think it's beautiful. I love the name because I'm actually from Boston. Look at this dog. Monty, you have to be right next to me, huh? At all times? Yeah? Her nose is turning pink. And the other color I chose is Firenze. You know, I'm Italian and... Which of course is in Italy, one of my favorite cities. I got these both in an eggshell finish. These are a paint and primer, so you don't need to buy separately. The eggshell is wipeable, but because it's around the TV and on the fireplace, I just didn't want a high gloss. So I'm gonna open these up right now. Okay, moment of truth. Am I gonna like it? <gasps> It's so pretty, I love this one. Okay, it's beautiful, it's showing a little darker on camera, but it's like a beautiful muted terracotta. It really looks just like brick, I mean, hence the name. Okay, next shade we're gonna open is Fidens. <gasps> wow, oh my God, I'm obsessed with both of them. It's gonna be so hard to choose. And the poles were not helpful at all. They're both very fall vibes, but they go with my living room really, really well. I just love those muted terracotta brick. They're very autumnal, but I think both of them go into the holiday season, especially the brick. And it's festive. The brick I can definitely work with because I do want a color that's gonna last a long time for me. I don't know which way I'm leaning, you guys. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna have to test them out behind the TV. Let's go do that. Okay, here are the samples. I am still very, very stuck. So we have Boston Brick on the left, and then Firenze on the right. They're both so gorgeous. I think the only thing I'm nervous about are the oranges, and I think they'll go really well with Firenze, just because it's the same, but also a little more burnt. I don't know, I'm stuck. Okay, I've decided on the color. I keep it a surprise until I do the first coat. 
I feel confident in this. I think it fits the era of the home. This is a 1950s bungalow in the hills. And I think it goes, it's appropriate for the space. I think it's welcoming. I think it's warm. I'm feeling good about it. I think this is the right decision. So let's go and start the DIY. Okay, so everything's been cleaned off. I used my laser level here just to get a nice straight line. So I want it to go right above the TV and then the arch is gonna go like so. Okay, I found center on the wall and I'm just gonna pop a little push pin in right here to help guide the string that will create our arch. So you're just gonna need to find center, pop a little push pin. Wow, this is much harder than I thought it was. Also doing this alone, it's always better to work with somebody, but I don't really have anybody to help me. So uh, it's just me and I'm not really good at math. So use a tape measure unless you're a super visual person, but just always play it safe and use a tape measure. Okay, so to create the arch, you're gonna need some string. You can use like a jute or just some kind of string, a push pin and a pencil. And we're gonna find center. And then we're gonna create a makeshift compass with the pencil and the twine or string. And then we're gonna create the arch and then we're gonna paint. Okay gals, moment of truth. Is this gonna work? Oh, a snag, a snare. I think we did it. Okay, so I'm just gonna freehand this arch and pray that I don't mess up. I think I should be okay. Okay, the freehand portion is done. I think I did a pretty great job. This is my first time freehanding. And honestly, I'm such a perfectionist, but the thing is with these things, when you're standing far away, you can't tell even if you do mess up. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna use the roller now which is over here, and I'm gonna fill it all in. So I'm doing the arch first, and then I'm gonna do the fireplace, because I do wanna see what it looks like before. And of course I'm watching The Simple Life. Okay, first coat is down. Loves it, loves it. Loves it. It went on so smooth. The coverage is amazing. So let's take a peek here, are you ready? Bam, look at that. It's still drying right now, but I'm gonna start getting into the fireplace. At first I was like, you know what? From here, maybe maybe I just leave it, you know? But I really just want that cute statement and Monty's gonna match it so well, aren't you, honey? Yeah. Yeah, I just want like a little pow pow moment. So I've taped up all the edges here. And I'm gonna get into it and if I don't like it, guess what? I can paint it white, not a big deal. So the paint that I chose already has a built-in primer, but sometimes if you're painting a fireplace or outdoors or just need like a little extra help, I used this Fresh Start Primer by Benjamin Moore. This stuff is great. It's mildew resistant, has a stain blocker, and just hides any imperfections on the surface. So if you guys are looking for a primer, this is a great one. Okay, one quart of paint later. I didn't even open the gallon. I did two coats. I'm ready to take a look at it. It looks so good. Wow, oh my God, in the fireplace. <gasps> it looks so good. Obviously this is, it. it's just, I feel like it really elevates the space a lot. I cannot wait to design it, but right now we're gonna do a little peel pawn. A little peel porn for you. Don't know what she's saying. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. Yeah. Hold on, let me get right up in there. It's, that's hot. Wow. Wow. Look at that Stunning. Okay, so now that all the hard stuff is done, let's get on to the fun part, which is styling. So first up is the bar cart area that I showed you guys before. I'm not a big drinker, I rarely, rarely drink, but I do have friends over on occasion, and I do wanna have like a little selection, but really it's just for the aesthetic look. So on the bottom shelf, I'm gonna be doing just some like little knickknacks. I have a globe, I have some books. I'm a big connoisseur of old books. Whenever I see them, I have to get them. Just some little things that I love that I picked up at thrift shops and antique shops along my travels, and then on the top shelf, I have some vintage champagne glass, I have some scotch glasses. I have a bottle of scotch that I have in a beautiful crystal decanter. So let's go style it real quick. Oh, 
Okay, that looks so cute. Next up is the fireplace. So I really wanna keep it simple. Since we're going into the fall season, I did get some fresh pampas from the flower market. They're a great and really cheap way to design and you can get them at any flower market or you can actually pick them out like in the wild. I do have some that actually grow in my yard but they're not ready yet. So I have those, I have some old books, I have a couple candles, some lavender, but I really wanna keep it clean and simple and minimal. I don't wanna add too much. I have a tendency, as you guys know, of over styling and then I have to pull out. So I'm working on that. So let's go style the fireplace. Okay, well that is it for all the sneak peeks. I think we're ready to show the final product here. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go take a look. so obsessed please make sure you comment down below and let me know your favorite part if you love the color tell me all about it should I do another one of these in my house somewhere I'm thinking maybe above my bedroom like above my bed I'm not sure but I love the space I feel like it looks so festive without doing too much you know I didn't put any pumpkins put any jack-o'-lanterns but there's no ghosts in this house except for the ghost of my broken heart. But yeah, it looks so good. It's really well put together. I'm super excited and I think I'm gonna keep it for a while. But the cool thing about paint is you can just paint over it, add a new color, do something else. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, like, leave a comment, I already said that. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. I still don't have an outro, so yes, this is the outro, bye.